Okay, I took the liberty of drawing this because it probably would have taken me 15 minutes to draw it in the video. <laughs> so, drew it beforehand. Here's column A, column B. We want to know the standard deviation of A versus the standard deviation of B. It's going to be a horribly time consuming problem. My recommendation is if you can't see a pattern and you think, well, I've got to do my the horrible standard deviation formula without, oh, actually, you've got a calculator, but still, you have to do the long winded standard deviation formula. Hey, skip this question, come back to it if you have time. Don't let it eat up all your time. Let's talk about patterns, though, because I'm not going to go through the standard deviation formula. And indeed, they don't really want you to either. They want to see if you can pick up a pattern. So let's, let's look at this guy. We know standard deviation, we need the average of a number of elements in a set. Here are the averages. Well, you have the same number of tens as you do 50. That's 10 and 50, 60, half of that's 30. Same of 20 and 40, so we're at 30. And then boom, large amount of 30. So we know the average is 30, A equals 30. Let's look at the second graph now. We see 10 and 50, the same amount, they're the same vertical. 60, so their sum divided by 2 is 30. So the average is still 30. Average of these two, same vertical, it's 30. And then we're left with these little 30 in the middle, so the average is also 30. Now the question becomes, well, which has a greater standard deviation? Remember, the more numbers you're adding from the outside, the greater there are, there's five of them here, the, the greater the standard deviation. Meaning here, there's only a few that are actually the average. Most of them are outside the average. And if indeed the extreme ones are farthest from the average. So you know the standard deviation is going to be much higher than here, where most of the elements in the set, or a great number at least, are 30. So there's zero standard deviation from 30 to 30. Only here we get these few little guys on the outside. They're going to give us some standard deviation, but nowhere near as much as we have on this side, so therefore the answer is B.